If you're a fan of all things Power Rangers and Power Rangers related and you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Nate Silver, the Gold Beast Morpher Ranger, ever since his appearance in Power Ranger Beast Morpher Season 1, he has become a fan favourite character amongst myself, fans and many other people. Even the actor Abraham Rodriguez puts a lot of life and energy into the character, making him pop out and come to life. But with Hasbro and adapting a Japanese TV show, there's going to be a lot of translations when the show gets brought to the West, and that was brought to light ever since his appearance and when he first morphed in Episode 8 of Power Ranger Beast Morphers. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're going to be talking about the translation issues or the Western change of the Gold Ranger changing from a Rhino Beetle into a Mantis. So GoBusters is a Super Sentai series from 2012 that got adapted into Power Ranger Beast Morphers in 2019. And yes, it was very strange when we heard the announcement that Hasbro or Saban, they were going backwards to adapt this brand new series of Power Rangers because they skipped over it after Megaforce and went straight into Dino Charge. And after a few years later, they went backwards to adapt an older Sentai from 2012. And hey, it worked. They did something really well with it. Hasbro knew what they were doing and they made a really great season. But like I said at the start of the video, of course, when you're adapting a Japanese series, you're going to have a few changes for Western audiences. One of them was the gold and silver beast morpher ranger but in this video we're going to be mostly focusing on the gold ranger so masato jin is the beat buster and in go busters he's basically the gold ranger in the series and his suit motif his design is based on a rhinoceros beetle now in japan beetle hunting and beetle collecting is a big big thing in Japan that the kids do, that the adults do, the bug otakus do, it's a huge thing. Bug collecting was actually one of the big inspirations for the creation of Pokemon. And even bug collecting and beetle culture in Japan has rubbed on on other stuff such as Kamen Rider, Metabots, and a bunch of other stuff in Japan when you see a beetle motif. So beetles in Japan and insects are very, very popular in Japan more than they are in the West. Now, if someone in the comment section is definitely going to say, well, in the West it is popular, you just don't know. Well, I know in Japan it's very popular from all the culture and influence it's in in other series. And then like I mentioned before in the video, just like when you bring an anime to the West and you're going to have those translation issues, just like in Power Rangers when translating a show from Japanese to the West, you're going to have to change a few things to make it make sense to an American audience, especially a young American audience when your target audience is children. So what they did in Power Ranger Beast Morph is they changed the rhinoceros beetle into a mantis. Now when they announced this on the TV show it confused me and a lot of other people wondering why they did this choice but it kind of made sense when they first revealed it because they got a westernizer for kiddies but what was even stranger was Hasbro's answer when they did an interview of Power Rangers Now back in July. When asked about the change in the interview Hasbro's response was He's apparently a rhino beetle in the Super Sentai, but we have to make this show for kids. So we need to ensure that the type of animals we choose are ones that kids can say and recognize. Now I understand their reasoning, but a mantis... This doesn't look like a mantis. And if there are excuses they need to pick animals that kids can say and recognize, you know there's this thing called books and the internet which is readily available for kids or anyone to use. I think a mantis is a bit too far out there when deciding on the insect motif. They could have even called it a beetle and no one would, no one would have questioned it. So why a mantis? I understand their reasoning but it doesn't make any sense but it is what it is, and like I've said several times, you got to westernize a Japanese show for an American audience, especially a young one. And that's pretty much the story on why Hasbro changed it from a beetle to a mantis. Now, it's that much of a big deal, I just wanted to make this video to clear a few things up, because not a lot of people have seen that interview with Power Rangers now, and it's only one question that gets answered, so I thought I'd make a video talking about the change. I did make a video where I read out the interview and gave my thoughts on it, but hey, a separate video is better than you watching a 20-minute video where I read a bunch of questions, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy it, leave a like on it, 
subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to leave a comment because the one thing that helps out a youtube channel and the video is engagement in the comment section so be sure to leave a comment please don't write first for anything just please don't write first but i hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day peace out and take care bye <laughs>